Well, praise the Lord. I've got my computer back. All I had to do is buy a power pack for it. Praise the Lord. Well, this is the Sabbath. And the Sabbath day is for us, His children, to rest and rejoice in Him. I rest and rejoice in my Holy Father, Yahweh. I rest and rejoice in the Mas my Messiah, Yeshua HaMashiach. I glorify Him with all my heart. Now, in I is um, Ezekiel 20, verse 12, it says, Moreover, also I give them my Sabbath to be a sign between me, that's Yahweh, God, and them that might know that I am the Lord that sanctifies them. I rejoice in Him gladly. I rejoice in Him in these last days. I rejoice in Him that is my Savior, that who died on the cross for me. I rejoice that He come and He delivered Himself up as a ransom for my sins so that I could be forgiving my sins that I did in the past the sins I'm due in the present and the sins I do in the future he has made a door a gateway that I can repent and ask of him and he will forgive me our days upon this earth are numbered and they are growing fewer and fewer as his time grows nigh. He is separating his flocks. He's separating the sheep from the goat. He is taking the holy bride and from the other bride that has been caught up in the world and that is all in the world and and has dirtied their garments. For our garments must be white as snow, not with a spot of blemish. Sort of like the sheep when they went up to the temple to be sacrificed for sins, they had to be perfect without spot or blemish people. So many people in the churches today does not realize what it's really all about because they they learn from men but we must learn from God Yeshua HaMashiach we must learn from our Messiah the one who died for us we must learn from him that one day that we may be with him over in Israel in Jerusalem on that temple mount as he rules and reigns. People, I rejoice. I rejoice for I know that the season is growing nigh to our departure, to be with him, to stand with him. Many out there, they bless you bless you because you have doubts you have fears and it says not to doubt doubt not but have faith we are not to have fear for fear is death fear is not of God it is of Satan because he wants to keep you afraid we are not to follow man but we are to follow him and him only we are to walk in His glorious light and live by the words of Yeshua HaMashiach who is the Torah, who is the word of Yahweh, God Almighty. We must learn to stand when all things that may be going wrong and around us, we must learn to stand 
When all else fails, we must learn to stand. See, it says this. Let's go to Ephesians, okay? Ephesians. Glasses. It says in Ephesians chapter 6. Let's begin with verse 13. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. The evil days. They're here. They are upon us people. And having done all to stand. Stand therefore having your loins girded about with truth and having the breastplate of righteousness and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace above all take the shield of faith wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit which is the word of god praying always with all prayers and supplement in the spirit and watching thereunto with all preparation and supplement for all saints we are in troubled times. The evil is upon this earth and much is going to happen very soon and is happening now. Winter has been pretty rough all over up in the north and here. But I tell you, we must stand no matter what. If we are asked, do you believe in Jesus Christ? You look and you say, yes, I do. I believe in him for he is Yeshua, the Ham Hamashiach, the Messiah who saves all. The one, the King of Kings that's coming back. Now, some of us may have to pay with our life when we... Uh, are asked that question and we say we do believe for we must stand for him we must stand for him prepare your hearts prepare your minds prepare your life to be a ready service for the king of kings the lord of lords yeshua hamashiach to stand no matter what the cost may be. People, people, we are in the last days and we are going to see many things. Some things we wished we had couldn't, didn't have to see. But you know, we that are the bride of Christ will be proven worthy to be that bride of Christ. Don't think that we won't be. We are being right now and it will grow intense. But we need to learn to rejoice as as Peter and them and, and was put in jail and they begin to sing praises to God. They didn't cry or moan or weep. They sang praises to God. They sung the praises of the Almighty. Even as they were locked up in prison. And the praises that they praised is what opened the gates and set them free. That is what will set us free. We must praise Him. Rejoice. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Praise our holy name. Hallelujah. I rejoice in your holy name. I give myself to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise His holy name. Many things are coming. Many things are coming to the Middle East. 
wake up people and remember the four blood red moons and in the middle of those four blood moons the sun would be darkened it's on NASA a whole bunch of preachers didn't get together have a Holy Ghost field meeting and saying oh this is what we believe no NASA said this is what's going to happen they are signs and wonders in the sky telling us prepare yourself be ye ready for his coming put on the garment of the bride white as snow without a spot or blemish in them that means all hate all bitterness all anger all malice must come out of your heart be ye prepared for the coming of the Messiah for his bride. It is coming soon. Coming soon. Do not doubt. Do not fear. But stand. Stand. When it seems like all odds are against you, stand. When the, the armies are marching down the streets, stand. When they knock upon your door, stand. Stand for him as he stood for you and gave his life for you. We, the bride, must learn to stand for him at all cost. We must be obedient, humble, and ready to stand at any moment, at any time. For he is the high priest, the Messiah, the, the one who gave his life for us all. Be ye ready. Don't shake, don't shun away, don't, don't run away, but truly stand in his glory and his righteousness, for he is coming back to earth, people. He really is. Those of you that don't believe there's a God nor a Jesus, the only thing you are fooling yourself for the spirit of this world, Satan himself, is whispering those lies into your ears and deceiving you so that you will not receive the blessings of the children of God. Be ready. Be ready. Be ready to stand for him, for much is going to happen here in America. Because America has judged her own self by the deeds that she has done. America has turned her back away from the, the things that God has laid out before her. At one time she used to be a land of milk and honey. But now she's becoming a land of bitterness and folly and falling apart. We put our trust in man and man cannot help us. Man has not the power to help us. Not the president, not Congress, not any man here on earth. If you got your eyes on a man then you got your eyes in the wrong way, at the wrong way, period. If you follow a man's teaching, you're following the words of the world. The teaching that you must follow, oh, right here it is is this these words 
these words in the Holy Scriptures written and laid out that we could understand who he is and that we will stand for him and we will listen to these words and these words only man will lead you astray man has already led so many astray they have become false prophets false teachers and false ministers and people follow behind them with bated breasts, listening to every word they say. But they are not of God. They are teaching the ways of man and man's ideals. They will take the Bible and twist it around to fit their own doctrines and theology. That's what Constantine did. That's what the Catholic Church did. And that's what F Pope Francis is doing. Pope Francis, the head of the Catholic Church, beginning to teach and draw men away and place them in the New World Order. For they are beginning to teach a new world and a new heaven is here right upon us now. Not so. A new world order is upon us, but it's not of God, but of Satan. Believe what you want to believe, but at the end, you condemn your own self when you follow a man. And not follow God and His Holy Word and the Messiah, Yeshua HaMashiach. Do you not understand that the only one, the only one that gave His life, whoops. Gave his life for us is Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. If you say, oh, this man teaches such a good teaching, and it is the word. Get the word out. If it doesn't line up, he's not of God. And he's not teaching the word of God. Yeshua is our teacher, our guide. He is the one and the only one that we need to listen to and follow. Yeshua HaMashiach and Him only. If you get carried away listening to another person and saying, Oh, they're so great. You're putting them on a pedestal and you're putting them between you and God and you becoming an adulteress against God. We cannot do that. You cannot do that with me. You cannot say, oh, Barbara is... No. Mm -mm. Don't you dare. Ever. Believe in Yeshua HaMashiach and Him and Him only. Read the scriptures day and night and pray day and night for the wisdom to understand his word through the holy blood of Yeshua HaMashiach. Don't falter, my friend, because the door is now beginning to close upon this world and open to a new realm to his children. He is going to pour out a new anointing upon his children. Far greater than any anointing that he's poured out yet. And there's been many different times when he's poured out great anointings upon the body. 
But this anointing is going to be powerful anointing. It's going to give you power beyond what any generation has ever had before. The dead will rise. Those that have died, you, all you will have to do is speak the word and they will come alive. Those that are sick, all you have to do is speak the word and they will be healed. The lame, all you have to do is speak the word and they will walk. The blind, all you have to do is speak the word and they will see. The deaf, all you have to do is speak the word and they will hear. The ones that dumb and cannot speak, all you have to do is speak the word and they will be able to talk and speak. A greater anointing and a power that we have ever seen is going to fall upon this generation upon the children of God the manifested sons of God the bride of Yeshua far beyond any anointing that we've ever seen God has impressed this on me you can either stand or you can fall it is your choice Make your choices wisely because our words condemn us. The desires of our hearts condemn us if they're not of God. Prepare. Prepare yourselves. Prepare the way for the coming of Yeshua. blessings on this Sabbath day. Father, in the name of Yeshua, I come before you. I ask for your power to be anointed upon this video, that people's hearts will be open to you and you alone. Their eyes will be open to you and you alone. Their ears be open to you and you alone, that they will see and where they will hear and they will feel in their heart your holiness and your power and your anointing in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Amen and Amen. Be blessed on this Sabbath day. Blessings.